Hey guys, this is Chris at Lifetime Trail Maps, and uh, this is just a quick video to show you uh, some of the settings that we have protected in the app. Uh, occasionally we get questions about um, some of the settings being in red and not available to the end user, as well as some of the uh, global settings not being available and being password protected. Um, so let's jump into the app. And if you notice up here in the upper right hand corner, the three dots, when you tap that and you tap global settings, it's going to ask you for a password. Now, we're just going to cancel a lot of that. Uh, the reason is we've optimized a lot of the settings in the app before we ever install it. Um, so as you download our app and install it or purchase a device from us, there's a lot of settings in there that we just don't want the users to change because it makes the app inefficient and can really mess things up inside the app. And then it ultimately makes you reach out to us for uh, support so there's really no need to change much in there uh, if there is a specific thing that you need to change you're welcome to reach out to us and ask us uh, how to change that particular setting another thing you're going to see here in the upper left hand corner you're going to three, see three horizontal bars and when you tap that you're going to notice that some of these are in uh, red so when you tap on any of the ones in red uh, it's not going to let you do anything and the reason is because those particular settings are also attached to the global settings that are off limits to the end user. Um, it's not that we don't want you to have any um, you know, control over that portion of it. It's just that in some of the earlier app versions, we had lots and lots and lots of repetitive tech support uh, where people were actually changing things haphazardly and then reaching out to us for support. And then they didn't quite know what they had done and what settings they had changed. Um, so we actually optimized all those settings for you uh, starting in app version 1.0.5 and then we password protected it just to kind of keep people from going in there and accidentally changing things and rendering their app useless. Uh, last thing we want is for you guys to get on the trail and not be able to uh, enjoy your app because things have gotten changed. So um, that is a uh, that is just a normal thing with the app. There's nothing wrong. We've had some people think you know, oh no, I've done something wrong. What have I done? I don't remember my password. Uh, but no fear because that section doesn't require you to know the password or you don't have to create an account to access that um, portion of the app. So anyway, all is safe and as always, ride safe.